But what I'm saying is that I do, you know. <laughs> the hell? You alright, mama? That's hot. <coughs> Whoa, hey, mama, you alright? What the heck? Hey. We are on our road. We are on our road. Let's get lit with the Prince family. Hey. Let's get lit with the Prince family. Hey. Turn that bell on, cause we dropping them bangers all year long. We got the pranks, we got the vlogs, we got the challenges, yes we do it all. Let's get lit with the Prince family, let's get lit with the Prince family, let's get lit with the Prince family, let's get lit with the Prince family. Alright Prince Bell, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, turn that bell on, we love y'all about to dropping them bangers. What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy Damien now. Yeah. And today, we're back here once again with another video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe right now. Join the family, because we drop in bangers back to back for the rest of 2021. Also, guys, we do post notification shadows at the end of every single video. So if you guys want to have a chance to shout out our videos, all you gotta do is turn notifications on. Once you do that, comment down below. And we, we are, are on our road. We are on our road. We are on our road. We are on our road. Hey, hey. We're having an iPhone giveaway in today's video, but that's not gonna happen towards the end of the video, so stick around until that happens. But anyway, I got my dad over here. Say what's up, Pops. What's up, guys? What's How up, you doing? Ah, uh, a little sick, but I'm all right. I'm a little good, sick? Though. Yeah. Do we need more space? No, y'all good. Man. What you sick with? <sighs> <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Let's just say I'm, uh, I'm good for now. Yeah, I mean, I know you was already like sick, but like, like, you mean like sick? Like, like. Getting worse, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, then I got my mom over here. Say what's up, mom. What's up? We got Marv. What's good, man? What's happening? Y'all watched the last video. I talked to my dad. I talked to Marv. They both agreed to sit down and uh, just have a conversation. And we're going to see where this goes. My dad channel will be in the description down below. Mr. Cryer, well, the Cryer family, right? The right. Cryer family. Yes, sir. They call you Mr. Cryer, AKA all types of stuff. All kinds of stuff, man. <laughs> And then I got my mom. Y'all channel is called what? The Harris Family. The Harris Family. Their channel will be in the description, guys, down below. He on to roll to 500K. Y'all about to hit what? 200K. Congratulations, man. Y'all success. Thank you. Anyway, guys, right in front of us, we have a seafood boil. So we about to be doing a seafood boil mukbang today. And babe, what do we all have right now? So we have snow crab, king crab, corn, sausage, potatoes, and some shrimp. Some oh, and shrimp. rice, and a lot of sauces. We have a lot of sauces. I think everybody got their own sauce. Yes. Right, then we got a bottle of water. Let's just, just jump right into it. I mean, y'all wanna dig in? Do you literally mean jump into it? Like, jump into it. Cause you know, I would jump into it. I mean, I mean like jump into the video. Cause oh, like, cause that's they, they here for the title of this video. You know, I don't mind jumping in. Go ahead, jump in. Just the word jump makes Would me feel like frothy. Wanna bless the food? Oh, you want me to bless it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unless you wanna bless it, you wanna bless the food? I got this. Heavenly Father, I wanna thank you for bringing us here today so we can be able to have an opportunity like this to come together and have some type of meal and a conversation. I ask you to continue to watch over my family, my loved ones, their loved ones, their loved ones, and continue to bless us in every area of our life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food we're about to receive. Let it be nourishment to our mind, body, and soul. Thank you. Amen. 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 Time to begin. I'm going to get the plate. Mm. Let's um, Give me that plate. Give me that plate, because I know that you You hot, Mom? Hot. I'm hot. We all hot. <laughs> Guys, last time I ate crab, I threw up the last two times. So I'm probably not going to eat the crab. I'm going to eat like some corn, potato. That was a potato? No. Some mm -hmm. potato. I want some sausage. Is y'all eating everything? You eating everything? No? What's wrong? You like the sausage? What's the sausage? <laughs> That's a big that boy. That's another one over there. Oh, <laughs> son. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. It's a big boy. Don't ever do that again. I just bit it, Dad. Listen, man, break it. Break it next time. Don't ever let me see. He, he there can't you go. No, bite no, it. Do that again. Your mind is in the gutter. <laughs> like There's it. a sausage right there. Go the ahead. Way no. <laughs> no, All I did was do this. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Go ahead and do it. Oh my! I just take the. the uh, mm. Yours. This sauce is spicy. Spicy. You guys for spicy meat? And you know, no, all of this should be normal. I don't like spicy. Y'all, listen. If y'all want some of this seafood boil, comment down below right now. Let us know if you want some of this right now. This sauce is spicy. But anyway, Dad, 
How does it go? What you be doing? Oh, 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 oh. That's kind of a weak one. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hot flash. Oh, you might want to. Ah. Yeah. You don't do ah. Yeah, yeah. Something. Ah. <laughs> it just don't sound right. Don't do that. Ah. No more. Yeah. It's been a while since I did that. <laughs> Everybody got their food. Mm -hmm. I thought you just told your son not to buy it. Are you buying it? He mm. sure is. You know what I mean? bang like here, bro. Did you just put a lot of salt on that? That mm -hmm. was a lot of salt. I think my blood pressure feels I'm fine. Mm. Honestly, I didn't even think both y'all was, I didn't think you was going to show. Because the way you was talking in the other video, the way you was talking, I'm not sure, man. How you feel about everything, though? Well, I was going to show in the way because of the food. Especially <laughs> seafood. I will say this right here. I did not think Marvin was going to show. Why? I really honestly didn't. Why do you think I was gonna show? Based on everything that's happened. Mm. I mean, there was a lot to happen. I mean, a lot. Mm. You know? I feel like we was in a tug of war, you know, with our kids, man. Then it leads to me and you, you know, the internet stuff, mm. talking crazy on the internet. But we both was talking crazy. Mm -hmm. You trying to protect your baby and doing the best interest of her, and I'm doing the same, trying to protect mine and do what's in the best interest of him. Mm. But at the end of the day, I just feel, me personally, I feel disrespect. And that's why I think that you didn't show, wasn't going to show, based off what happened last time. Well, I don't feel like I really disrespected respected you. I think you disrespected me more with your, with your diss track. Mm. How you yeah. figure that? I mean, you dropped your diss track first on my son. Well, it wasn't about you. But it was about my seed, though. Yeah, but it wasn't about you. But it was about my son, though. He's 13. Yeah. Well, I'm about I to think, let him defend himself. Well, I mean, the things you said, like, in, in your diss track was kind of harsh, you know what I'm saying? You know, call God, see if he booking like, y'all, you and God got a special connection against me or something. Like, I think that was like, I don't understand, you know, throwing shots or whatever, but, you know. Messy Marvin, I apologize. Marvin, a diss track is a diss track. True. It's not supposed to be something nice. You think I'm going to diss track and say nice things about you? Absolutely not. Well, I, that's true. That's true and all, but there again, you know, for you to just take it to the level, you know, you want you want more, you want to throw hands, and it wasn't even wasn't even that deep to me. But when you say you don't say you want more, then you bringing up other stuff that didn't have nothing to do with anything. It was like, man, this dude he's talking a lot. He's like, you know, I'm not gonna want to do a lot of talking. Okay, let's back up here. You said my diss track. Cause I said I was gonna call heaven to see if God was booking. Okay. That line was fire though, but go ahead. You took mm -hmm. that as a violation, as a threat. But when you say in your song, off with his head, come on, man. What is you rapping about, off with his head? <laughs> but you say, I'm talking about, I wanna call God to see if heaven's booking. Yeah. Well, what did you mean by off with his head? I'm not gonna say nothing. Well. That wasn't a violation? I guess you could look at it like that. That's exactly how I'm looking at it. Well, what did you mean by that? Off with his head. No, it was just it was just a metaphor. Like I was gonna kill him with with the you know the diss track. A thirteen year old though. Off with his head. Yeah, it was it was more like. Is that a, was that a threat? Off with his head. No, not at all. It was just like I said. It was it was all in a, in, a, in a rap, man. It just I guess it was just a metaphor. You want to check his head off? I don't think it was. I don't know. It just sounded good at the time. So you know, I apologize for that if you if you took it the wrong way, but. Just, just kept on throwing shots and just saying, you know, certain things in, in your in the reaction, like, like this dude, you're saying a lot, but you ain't doing nothing. Listen, you know, there was nothing else to do at that moment. My son was crying. I had to take him home. He didn't even get the chance to say goodbye to his family before he left. How you think yeah. that made me feel? He didn't even get to say bye to none of the kids, nobody, Damon, B, or nobody. Well, that was on you. You want on me? That's on what? It was really on you. You could have, you could have um, had him say bye or whatever. You know what I mean? It was just, I don't know. Did you say he wasn't allowed to see your daughter no more? Yeah, but I mean, he could have said bye to y'all. You know, I have no problem with that. I'm just, I'm just saying that me and my daughter is just, is just not happening. I just got better plans for her than just, you know. But she can't make her own decisions in the future. In okay. The future. I can agree with that. In the future, it was hot. It's hot. What's up? It's spicy. What is yeah. it? This is sauce and stuff. <laughs> but I can agree with that right there. But the way you came to the to the uh, crib and uh, you just want to lay hands and mm -mm. hands on me, want to want to do all this stuff. Like I thought it had boiled over, but then I guess it, it, I guess it just started back up from all all the yapping, man. And, you know, 
I said I wasn't really, I ain't really the one to be yapping, and I just kept hearing stuff. You say you ain't the one to be yapping, and see, I'm. Why do I feel like that you're still talking slick? Because I'm trying to really not to go there. The same way that you invited Darian over to see Janelle, but when he came over, he didn't see Janelle. He came face to face with Janelle's dad. Yeah. Well, you should go back and watch what you said in the video. I know what I said. I don't need to go back. I know what I said. Then you shouldn't be shocked that I pulled up the way I did, because that's how I took it. That's how I took it. Yeah. And just to go back, I do accept your apology. I don't want you to think that I uh, let that go over my head. Okay. But what I'm saying is that I do, you know. <laughs> the hell? Oh my goodness. Hit her back, Marlon. Oh, it's my mind. <laughs> you alright, Mama? That's ah. You alright? Yeah. Yeah, oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you all right? What the heck? Hey. You need a second? Yeah. Oh my God. <sighs> that is hot. Woo! What the heck? <laughs> Mommy, you all right? It's there. It's you. you crying? Ooh, that's so hot. <laughs> I thought. God damn, you were hot. <laughs> what, 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 what I said? <laughs> Dang. That's what I said. That's, that's the sauce. I'm eating it. It's fine. The sauce is fine. Like me as much that's fine. No, 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 my mom, she was in there like dip, like just dipping it. Yeah, I she was just like, dipping it. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm watching. I'm watching. She's like, did you even chew it? <laughs> was it two type of sausage or just one type? No, honestly. I didn't do the sausage yet. Damn, it was the, the sauce. It probably was stuck at the bottom. Or was it sauce? Cause you, you were just sitting there just playing in it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you even bite it? Oh, no. I'm trying to add a beloved moment, but damn, that was like that. Good lord. Oh, Bro. I didn't see that coming. Just oh, drink but, some more water. Oh. I don't think you're supposed to dip it that much. I'm trying to dip it that much. <laughs> So Listen, me, I, I no then that sauce is good then, huh? It's gonna be good. You don't want to dip it. I am trying to dip it. No, much. I dip it. It tastes fine. Go ahead, yeah. dip it. Get, get like the bottom Ooh. pieces too. That's what I did. I got all that bottom. That's probably what it is then. Ooh. No, you got, you got the bottom back. Get this right here. This right over here. This part. This stuff. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Man, y'all must have hit that. Man, I see my mom hot like that. Whoa! Wait a minute now. It is hot. Mm. I'm telling you, that sauce. Oh, it, it is hot at the bottom. It hit my back of my throat like the juice went down first. You just, it hit mine too. It hit the back of your throat too. That's how it did. Okay. We just like it in some type of way. It just hit the back of my throat too. You said we just like it. Yeah. Because what do you mean by it? Hit the back of your throat. No, no, huh? no. I, I think with him. I think with my husband. No, what? that's not what I'm saying. No, no, we're not alike at all. But I wasn't. No. I'm just, I'm just clearing things up, uh, yeah. I was just saying the way it hit the back of your throat, ma'am. That's it. Okay. I know that's your dude, okay. husband, boyfriend, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Marvin. You Anyways, know. he's more than boyfriend. That's hot. Well, listen, I'm not. You was boyfriend material. Ooh. One. <clears throat> but no more. The sauce is Anyway, hot. I hope that you're okay, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sure you do. I think it's that I bottle. I appreciate it. Yeah. But anyway. Y'all good? You guys right? Yeah, I think I'm done. Boyfriend it. material. No, I think it's this stuff at the bottom. The Ooh. sauce itself is not hot stuff. You drink some more water? What's the best to drink? No, I'm good. You, you ain't eat no more? I, I gotta lay back on that stuff. Don't, just don't <laughs> eat the sauce. No, don't take the sauce. I don't I think I want that. What does boyfriend to. material mean? You said what? I'm not out, just thinking about You said what does boyfriend material mean? Mm -hmm. What does boyfriend material you mean? You ain't husband material. No, I'm just saying, like, you know, he was just boyfriend material. See? What does that mean? I'm just saying back then he was. I don't no, I'm just saying what's what boyfriend material to you? Like like describe. What is what he, is he wasn't good enough to marry. Oh. I'm just saying. I mean, it shouldn't be no surprise. He liked the gel better. I don't know. Maybe he liked to drop the soap. I don't know. You know this corn is really, really good. The corn is really good. You don't even need a sauce of this corn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. You say he liked to drop the soap. I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know what he liked the better. At the All time. I was basically was saying young. was that the way that sauce hit the back of your throat to hit mine the same way and it was kind of similar. And okay. That's all I was saying. I wasn't meaning to Okay, I just wasn't trying to have that. Dropping the soap on the floor. I'm sorry. No, I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I I'm know just Marvin's trying to hold my, my guard up. And I, you know, Marvin is absolutely not smiling. So I don't want no disrespect and I don't want you to take any disrespect. I was just saying, the way that that sauce hit her throat, <clears> it hit mine the same way and it just made me feel like that we both Experience the same thing at the same moment in time. Be more detailed now. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I just I just didn't want to <laughs> Bro, what the I it just registered what he what he's saying, bro. You said what? It just I it just registered in my mind what he's trying to what he's saying. What he's saying saying to you. <laughs> I'm the kid here, so I should never be hearing this type of conversation between my parents. Mm. Wow. So, wait, 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 wait. Now, do you think I was going overboard? How about what? In his response? You let it be known that that's your husband and that's what you No, I mean, that's how you feel. We, we wrong here. I'm just saying, okay. I don't want to hear about no, y'all sex life. I wasn't expecting that response, but I guess I did deserve it. I kind of set myself up for it. I just want to know a moment, uh, you know, like before when Marvin did his haircut, you know, you brought up some extra stuff that you was holding back, you know, so I'm just- Stephanie. I'm just letting you know. Do we have dating. to go there? I'm just letting you know. I was just talking about the way the sauce hit the back okay, of Okay, I'm just saying I just not want that moment to come back out of you, so therefore I feel like I had to kind of semi-check you a little bit before you even get that far. So you semi-checked me. Mm. 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 What was that about? I'm just saying, man. It got, it awkward. Just, it got awkward really quick. Yeah. We just here, man, to, to be, um, trying to be closure. Trying to find a revolution to um, to what's going on. Like you want to put the gloves on, you want to fight a lot of stuff you're feeling going through. You know, I'm just just here to listen, really. Do you fight uh, the rain saved him? Yes, I do. See that that right there, like man, I'm not scared of you. You know, I don't I don't have no problem throwing gloves on with you. It's like it's, it's not a problem. <clears throat> but it's just simply for me to just defend myself and let you know that whether I win or lose, that I'm not gonna back down. But we got kids. You know what I'm saying? And are we going to show a better example for them? Or are we just going to keep it on the same level? Because at some point in time, you know, this thing is going to go away. You know, I don't think fighting always solves the issue. You feel how you feel. You think how you think. And you, and you, you know what I'm saying? You have that right to. And we don't have to agree on everything. But. That's awesome, bro. Sausage good. We have to have an understanding, you know, before these kids. Like, my, my daughter can't be dating your son. You know, because like I said, I got plans for her. And you know, I understand as a- as Only a her father, or the other kids too? All my girls, all my girls. It's just not, not Janelle, I mean, all of them. I, I was strict on all. You know what it was, Damon. I was, I was strict you were, on you too. You were strict for no, was, for no reason. It was it was a reason. It was a reason because I knew what the streets was. I knew what the streets was about. And I feel like- just I, a, Go ahead. You go, my bad, you. This is allowing my daughter to be free spirited and say, oh yeah, I like this person to do it. I mean, I, I kind of, I got to watch over that. You know what I'm saying? I got to, I got to- so, You know, you know how to have a crush? Hmm? You know how to have a crush? You didn't have crushes on like celebrities when you were young. Oh my God, she's so cute, I like her. Yeah, that's celebrity. There's some people that I can't get close to. You know, but I don't want to have to be, you know, waking up in the middle of the night worrying about my child and just wondering if she's on a, on a, on a uh, tablet, you know what I'm saying, talking whatever she's talking to or to a young boy. But what I was saying though is, if you had, don't you, don't you have a daughter? You have a daughter? Yep. So, with your daughter, with, um, probably with your daughter, you'll treat your daughter a little bit different from your son, you know? <laughs> but me, I, it wasn't that way. Girls, boys, I, I treated them the, um, the same. Like, I didn't want them to date at a certain age. I didn't want them to have no kids. And that's the same thing with, with my daughter. I'm trying to stand the same thing. And I feel, you know, somewhere, you'll probably feel, understand the same thing if you was raising a young a young daughter too. Yeah, yeah, just say if it, she was on the other foot. You know what I'm saying? And and I had a son just, just trying to get with your daughter and being disrespectful to you. You know, talking about what you gonna do about it. You know, so what? He did say I'm, that. I'm, a, I'm a still da 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 da. And I'm, I'm talking like, hold on. At first, I, I wanted to approach him like, you know, listen up, young man, you know, I don't want this going on, but he got kind of jazzy with me. And that kind of like made me like click a little bit. But do you think it was right to approach him, Darian? Or should you approach to that? Or you feel like you were supposed to do what you're supposed to do, check him? Say it like this, would you want somebody checking your daughter? Or your son? Or you want them checking you for them? Where I come from, the whole neighborhood raised kids. So you think Not if, just one person. You think if your kids <laughs> go over to their friend house, their parents are allowed to disrespect them and talk to them when you, you talk to Darion? No, no, I don't want um, my kid to go any place and, and be disrespected. Not, not at all. Not at all. And if, and if it came off that way, you know, I apologize. But at the same time, a kid, if he, if he's acting disrespectful, you know, me as a parent, not saying I'm his parent because I'm not. I still feel as though that I had to let him know to respect. You know, so if I came off tough, it came off me. And, then hey, I can't stop someone from liking someone. I know I can't do that. But what I can stop is them to, you know, getting together and doing something I don't want them to um, do or do they, they don't have any business doing. So you think so, that's what you so you think that's what they was on? I think a kid will, you know, they'll take it one um they'll take it they'll take it far. They'll they'll take it far. Like he came, I was arms around my child, you don't have to be touching him. 
You know, that rubbed me the wrong way. And then he tried to get a kiss from her. I'm like, oh man, I wanted to stand up. <clears throat> like, okay. it was just, just bothered me. And then when you came at me, like, you didn't talk to me. Your body, you was like, you know, I, I want a piece of you. You want to fight. You know, I want more. And I'm like, okay. Okay. We can, we can do that if you want to, but. Okay. I'm, a, I'm gonna go back down memory lane a little bit before you started, like, in the beginning of this conversation. One of the first things you said, you said, Danny, I'm not scared of you. Let me tell you something, Marvin. That's a good thing, because I would never fight anyone who's scared of me. That's the most dangerous person in the world to approach. Someone who is scared and terrified of you, because they're gonna do what they gotta do to take you out immediately. So I would never approach somebody that's weak. Mm -hmm. So I didn't approach you because I thought that you was weak. Never that. If I thought you was weak, I wouldn't approach you in the first place. Because now I'm putting my own life at potential risk for real. Mm -hmm. You a man just like me. So I appreciate the fact that you wasn't scared of me. And are not scared of me. And as you know, I'm not scared of you. But it wasn't really about proving who was the big bad wolf in this. It was about you standing up for Janelle, your daughter. And it was about me standing up for my son, Darian. I would never experience what you experience right now as having a daughter that's 12 years old. Because my kids are most of them are grown now. So I couldn't imagine how it made you feel. You know, so as a father, I have to respect that because even if I put myself in your shoes right now, I mean, it's easy for me to say what I wouldn't do and what I would do, but I'm not in your shoes. I don't have a 12 year old daughter. But like you said, Damon didn't start having kids at age 14 and 15. And most of that was because of you and Stephanie, because of how he was raised in the home. And I'm grateful for that. He got all of his kids by his wife, you know? So I'm not gonna sit here and downplay that and let that go over my head. I know exactly what you did. Yeah. So I do understand why you saying what you saying. But at the same time, I don't have a 12 year old daughter and I probably would do everything I do could to protect her. But me pulling up wasn't about me trying to be the big bad wolf. It was because I felt like I had the invitation. And a lot of times if I get an invite, most likely I'm gonna show up. I'm not gonna turn down an invite. And it wasn't the same thing to pull up because I'm big and bad, but you went on the internet. I mean, you're on the internet. I mean, what if I'm on the internet blasting off at the mouth? You see me and Janelle face blabbing up at the mouth there, you and Stephanie coming for my top. Mm -hmm. And maybe some of your people, some of her people coming for me. They not having that. A 12 year old baby? And that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's how I felt. Yeah. So I do apologize as well. Yeah. And, you know, even though I still feel some type of way, and I'm sure that you do, you know, we both gonna feel some type of way because it was a lot that's transpired, you know? Yeah, and yeah. like, like, you know, I, I would like to apologize to you also, you know, cause I could have came and, and, and um, talked to you and your son in the same place, in the same environment, with, instead of just inviting him over there and bushing him, you know, cause it didn't feel good when it happened to me, you know. So I kind of understand um, how he felt and, and how you felt, how I went by it. And at the same time, like, little dude, he, you know, I think he just need to learn a little bit more manners when it comes down to grown people because he could be rude. And I know how, you know, 13-year-old kids, little boys could be, you know what I'm saying? They, they could be rebellious to parents and to anybody that's around them. But like I said, where I come from, we all teach. You know, grown folks, we all teach, you know, kids if, if they're around, even if they, you know, at someone's house, you know, if he was at my house just, just kicking it and they got in, you know, kids got into it. We have to, we have to resolve the situation better than just fighting for these kids because that's all they know. You know, if it's not fighting, they want to pull a gun, you know, so we have to show them, we have to show them something different. But at the same time, we, words matter, you know what I'm saying? And they cut just as well as you putting your hands on somebody. So we got to be careful what we say around each other, you know. I can't really be cold and try to find, you know, a revolution to this, this, this situation but by all means man like we, we just got to be better that's what i'm hoping for you know but that's what i want you know like i said even with the apology i still said i still feel some type of way and that's not shots fired in your direction it's like i do it does cross my mind from time to time of watching that video like the cockiness of you standing in front of both of my sons saying get your dad you know, that, that like stood out to me, like, what the, like, is this dude serious? And so that's, you know, and I'm sure it's things that I did that stood out to you, like, I know this dude ain't serious. But that was one of the things for me, like, damn, he in front of both of my kids. Yeah. Talk about giving me the business, You're letting them know I'm gonna shut your dad down in so many words. So it was yeah. like that, for some reason, it just keeps playing over and over and over. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm willing to look past and move on, man. Because yeah. a lot of stuff that people want is not the solution. All right, all right. 
I'm gonna tell you like I always tell my kids. Your thoughts become your words. Your words becomes your actions. Your actions become your character. And your character becomes your destiny. When you constantly talk about something, you're gonna, you, you're literally speaking into it existence. It's not just a thought anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it becomes your word, then it becomes your character. And subsequently it becomes your destiny. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people would love to see me and you kill each other. But I guess a lot of people are not looking at the big picture. You a family man. And I'm a family, well, you know, I'm a family man too. You're a family man too, of you course. Know? But sometimes that's not always the, the uh, solution. No, you no. Know? But I still wonder, you know what I'm saying, look like if we did throw the gloves on, how it would be? You know what I'm saying? We don't have to just hate on each other and wish each other death. You still want to? I mean, I'm, I'm, I was just thinking like, I wish, you know what I'm saying, it didn't rain. I wish we could have, you know what I'm saying, threw the gloves on just, just to get that part over with. <clears throat> you know, just to see how, how it would be. I don't know, you know? I mean, with the gloves on, obviously we're not we're not trying to you know kill each other, but maybe we can show these young kids out there that if you have a problem, you got issues, then it ain't nothing wrong with throwing gloves on and be be uh, standing up people afterwards. So it's, it's really you know it ain't no big thing to me, you know if if you wanna if you wanna throw the gloves on or you know we just gonna hash it out differently, you know what I'm saying we can find other ways of doing it. I mean. I was really hoping you wouldn't have went that conversation to <laughs> throwing the gloves on. Well, I was really trying to stare the driver's side of the car away from that conversation. I, I dig it. I dig it, but you dig it, but you so you're basically still wanting to throw the gloves on with me. It's I mean, I get from this. Man, I was I was cool, man. I was, I wanted to resolve it a different way, and we still can. But but why did you I'm just, you just got not being rude? But why did you bring that up? What? Probably throw the gloves so on. I'll still throw the gloves on. You know what I mean? If it wasn't raining, it's, it's not raining now. I mean, I'm not calling you out, but I'm just saying you brought up the boxing thing again. I'm trying well, to steer away from that, but so. yeah, I mean, just just cause, like you know, we we were gonna get it, we were gonna get popping, man. We were gonna yes, get we were gonna get it popping. You yes, know what I'm saying? And, yes, we were. <laughs> and you know, man, I'm I'm still trying to say, man. I'm feeling like I was telling me like, dude, you were scared. You ran up in the house and. That's not me, man. I don't want nobody thinking I'm, I'm some punk dude. I'm not. Absolutely not. I'm not. I don't think you a punk. I don't. I don't think you a punk at but, all. But I think okay. that you're just a father trying to defend your child and you're trying to stand up for what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a man who can't believe you just sit here and say you would still throw the gloves on. I mean, a man who's sitting here. We just throw the gloves on. We could, we could do a rap battle. We could do whatever. But at the same time, like, you still feel a certain kind of way, I'm still feeling a certain kind just of way. Just because I said I'm feeling a certain type of way, don't mean I got a problem with you. It just uh. means I have to deal with that. But if you still want to throw the gloves on with me, I, I mean, what I'm going through right now, bro, I have nothing, nothing to lose. So I would try to avoid it if I can, but I almost feel like, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong. That way I don't walk away with the wrong hypothesis. Are you? Still calling me out like low key, or are we just conversating? We conversating. Oh, we trying to we trying to get bro. to a revolution to to what was going on. I just needed clarity because yeah. it almost I didn't want to walk away and feel like damn this dude still calling me out, man, or what? Because like I said, <clears throat> nothing's going to get resolved. Mm -hmm. One of us going to walk away, and it's going to be bad. No matter what the outcome is, it's mm -hmm. going to be bad. It and don't you know, have, it don't have to be bad. When I say it's going to be bad, I'm but, not saying one of us going to walk away hurt. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be bad for one of us. And you as a man, you're probably convincing yourself it's not going to be you. Me as a man, I know for a fact it's not going to be me. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to lose. You do. You have a whole family. I'm a, I don't lose my family. No, you won't. No. No, but not, I'm just not saying, at all. Like, not at all. Like I said, it could, it could be done right? several ways. It just it really don't. Mm. You good? Yeah. Like I said, it's just, to me, <clears throat> like, like you wanted something more. It, right. was, it was it was a uh, your stomach or something. Yeah. It was a uh, a basketball match to where I had to get my, my my head shaved off. You know, so I'm thinking like I don't I don't know. I'm feeling like I want something more. It don't have to be boxing. It don't have to be you know. It could be something. Something put on the table that that we can we can do. You know, saying to I don't know I don't know what we're trying to get get out of this thing. It's just I guess it's just being closer with each other, closer with each other, and so you, be, be so you want it's like you, it's like you want you want more. No, you want more because it sounds like he want he wanted more now. But my dad's basically saying that you know he willing to be cordial, but it's not like you keep like insinuating mm -hmm. like you want more or something like you. So yeah. you do want more? Yeah, I want a challenge. I want some type of challenge, man. Because like I said, I got my head shaved right? off. Right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, and if I knew it was going to come to all this, you wouldn't have been able to put your hands in my head. If I knew, you know what I'm saying, you were still feeling a certain kind of way. 
So it was just, it's just from you attempted to fight, and then, and then I'm like, like, dang. I had to, you know, watch this video with my head and shit. That was that was embarrassing, man. You know what I'm saying? And then to go back and, and watch the, you know what I'm saying, you and your son, like, reacting like you laughing. I'm like, damn, okay. Okay, y'all got that one in. Mark, you had so, a pond at the top of your head. I had to. I'm sorry, bro. You said a pond, bro. I had to, man. But, okay. But yeah, I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, yeah. But, like I said, <laughs> we, we here, you know what I'm saying, to, to be called you because we, we do, we all share, you know, this young man and his lovely wife over here as family and we we have to you know be cordial but like i said it don't never it don't have to come down to us trying to trying to kill each other you know like i said it could be a a, a rap battle diss track or whatever whatever you you know whatever we can come up with i don't know but at, at the end of the day you know what i'm saying i just i just want you know just like you is some respect because at the end of the day just want just want to want, want to respect you know? You know, and don't want no one wants to be embarrassed, you know, or talked down upon. Yeah. It's really up to you. You know, we could we could still be cordial. Who knows? Or the sun. I would, we was willing to uh, sit down and, and and talk about it. So it's basically like what, what you want to do about it. I don't really think I gotta do nothing about it. <clears throat> so y'all just talked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just talked it out. You know, you said what you said. He said what he said. I mean, like my dad said a little bit ago, it's not raining right now. Yeah, it's not. I mean, y'all right, <clears throat> y'all right here. So it's like. I mean, I don't know what else more to say. I mean, it's like, if you want more, I mean, just do something about it. I mean, if not, just chill. You all right, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. So yeah, um, I'm just glad that we was able to sit down and talk. I mean, yeah. again, like I told you, I can't help how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a man, you can't help how you feel yeah. with everything that's going on, everything that's happened or whatever. Um, but again, like I said in the beginning, us as parents, we got to do to protect ours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We have to protect ours. And mm -hmm. you did what any other parent would have did. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't want to get to a point where, I mean, like I said, if I open the doors up, then I'm opening the doors up for every all possibilities. You know what I'm saying? And with these young kids, you never know. You never know. We could be parents and think we're doing a good job, but you never know what, what a kid could do. Right. You know what I'm saying? And what they had tried. You know what I'm saying? And, and we we are men, and we you know how we used to think when we was young. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So those things come and play because like I said we, we was boys once too yeah and yeah and it just I just want to do something different and I hear people all the time say well you did it you did it when you was young and the only thing I got to say is that don't you want your kids to be better than you that's true so that's that's, that's my all motto. I gotta say about that you know we want our kids to be better than us yeah that's my motto too yeah. you know I always said I don't want my kids to ever be like me yeah. Man, shot multiple times, going to prison, stabbings mm. multiple times, street gangs. I never want them to come, go through what I went through. I want them to be better than me. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we do everything we can to protect them. It's like I used to always tell Damon, like, I came later on in life, chose the streets over my kids. It wasn't just him. I had other kids. I chose the street. Mm. I chose to go the wrong route. Left you with the responsibility of it. Yeah. And his mom, and I just, I don't know, I feel like that when they got older, you know, when you was talking to Darian like that, it just kind of made me think, well, dang, is he trying to take my other baby from me too? You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. That's how I had took it. Yeah, yeah. That's how I had looked at it. So, yeah. I don't mind giving yeah. credit what credit's doing. You know, yeah. you're a good dude, Marvin. Yeah. I don't know you that well. I just know of you or what yeah. I hear about you, what Damon yeah. tells me about you over the years or whatever. And it's, trust me, it's not all yeah. bad. Every kid has something bad to say, but it's yeah. not all bad. The punishments and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And and you so, saw I had I had other kids too that I wasn't able to raise, and I didn't spend as much time with them as I wanted to. You know, and you know God puts you where you, where He wants you to be. Yeah, you definitely don't make mistakes. Right. So it is what it is. But. I'm glad we was all we was able to come together, do a sit down video, and talk it out. Yeah, I just appreciate both y'all coming over and just talking. Anything I say? Uh, I mean, like I said in the beginning, I didn't think that you was gonna show up. You know, yeah. but I'm glad that you did. Yeah. I am. You know, me, you never got a chance. Our son, and I say our son, mm -hmm. is almost 30 years old. We've never had a chance to sit down like this, yeah. ever. Is there anything you want to say, son? Mm -hmm. No, not really. I mean, I just appreciate it. we all coming together as one. I'm sorry. Something that my, my son, Damon, wanted for, for a long time. So I'm glad you guys are able to be cordial about things. Yeah. And I wish you nothing but the best, man. The best of success. Appreciate it. You, you know. You as well, man. Yeah. Thank you.
All right, guys, we're about to close out this and I'm gonna announce the iPhone giveaway winners. I wanna say bye, okay? Peace. Peace. Later. Bye. All right, guys, as promised, today is the iPhone giveaway. We told y'all, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. Comment down below on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to all our channels, man. So we have three winners, man. I'm about to announce them right now. Guys, all these people DMing me right now. All these people. Everybody saying me, 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 me. All these people. All right, guys, so the first person that's won, his name is King T. So it says follow back. Let me go to the messages. I'm gonna go scroll down real quick. You feel me? Go to the messages. He wrote me in 2017. That was over four years ago. He is loyal. Look, he said, I need that Xbox. I'm at work trying to get it. Come on, man. So this dude reached out to me four years ago, tried to win a different giveaway. And guess what? He just won another. Somebody just emailed me about the giveaway. As y'all see at the top. Let me go to the bottom. He said, my big brother. Guess what, my guy? You won. Maybe DM right now, bro. I got him right now. I'm about to tell him, you won. You won. You won. Hit him with a trophy. Boom. All right, guys. So our next winner is Michaela. Well, she don't even, her account is private, but her account private was zero posts. But let's go to her DM real quick. Let's see what she hit me with. Whoa, sheesh. Whoa, sheesh. Ding. Bro, she writing me since 2018. Oh, my gosh. Since 2018. She been showing love, hitting me up, commenting on my stuff, bro. And she said, me. So guess what? Michaela. You won. I'm about to hit her again. Watch this, watch this. You, you won. Boom. Boom. Just like that. You won. All right, guys. Our last and final winner is Killer ED, bro. <laughs> Let's go to the messages, dog. Let's see. Let's see, man. Let's see how loyal he is. Sheesh. Oh, my gosh. Bro, my man wrote me since 2019. Look at all this, bro. He was trying to win the PS4 for Christmas. He didn't win, but he won today. Damn. Look how much he wrote me. Oh my God, he's showing so much love. Dean. Bruh, so much love and support. Sheesh. He said it would it would be a blessing, bro, to have an upgrade. Let me hit him. Watch this. You won. You won, bro. You won. Boom. Boom. Yo, I'm going to wait for his reply. Yo, guys, so Michaela wrote me back. This is what she said. I said you won. She said, really? Oh, my God. I've been a fan since the reactions. Oh, my God. Yeah, guys. So that's pretty much it, man. Giveaway is complete. I'm just waiting. So one girl, Michaela, wrote me back. I'm waiting on the other two people to write me back, man. Hopefully, they write me back because we got to get rid of these iPhones. These iPhones is right here. They've been with us for a long time, but they gots to go. They gotta get out of here. Hopefully the other people reply to me because if they don't end up replying to me, then I'm about to get an iPhone to somebody else. So make sure you check your DM and please reply to me with your address where I can send them off, man. But look, check this out. We have a lot of support, a lot of people that just really just rock with us, man. And I know we only giving three iPhones away. We got millions of, uh, millions of supporters, but check this out. This is not going to be the only giveaway, man. We're going to be having a lot of more giveaways later this year more crazy giveaways i don't know instead of this time we gave away three iphones who knows maybe next time we might give away 10 iphones or 20 iphones who knows all you gotta do is just stay tuned subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications man and stay being loyal if you didn't win this time don't feel bad about it trust me I, as i as y'all seen the dms it's two people that have been trying to win giveaways for a few years now and they didn't win but they finally won today man so all i say is keep your head up and uh just you know maybe next time you can win one man but anyway guys we're gonna see you guys later on for the next video we are out peace